Do you see this crucifix I have in my hand? This crucifix used to belong to Father Benedict Rochelle. Don't tell anybody, but I stole it from him. <laughs> Fair and square. Well, some of you know that Father Benedict used to live at Trinity Retreat House. He lived in a garage. He had a very small little bedroom, tiny, and a small cluttered little office. And this crucifix hung on his wall for I don't know how many years. Well, you remember Sandy? The big storm? Well, when Sandy hit, everyone was evacuated. And when Sandy hit, Father Benedict's little tiny room in the garage and his office were flooded. How high did the water reach? If you could see down here, there's the water mark. The water came this high. This was on the wall of Father Benedict's room, and the water went this high. And after the storm, I was given the responsibility and the job of going through Father Benedict's things to see what was salvageable. Then when I saw this, being very smart, I took it. <laughs> Not as dumb as I look. Well, the winds came, the rains fell, the floods rose, everyone evacuated, nobody was there, but Jesus stood on the wall through all the storms. And you know, this Lent, for some reason, I was spending time just looking at a crucifix. We have a very big and beautiful crucifix in the friary where I live in Newburgh, and I was just looking at it. And I have been struck with the reality that Jesus is stuck. He's pinned to the cross. He's nailed to the cross. Jesus can't move. He's not going anywhere. He is there. And he won't move. And he won't run away. And he won't avoid. This crucifix stayed there through the storm, even though everyone evacuated. And this is the same in our lives. The winds come, the rains come down, the floods rise, everyone else evacuates. But Jesus! But Jesus! But Jesus! Jesus doesn't go anywhere. He's stuck. He's dug in. He's not going to leave. He won't leave and he can't leave. And this is, my friends, divine mercy. This is divine mercy, that no matter what is happening in your life, what pain, what sorrow, what storm is coming, Jesus is there. Jesus is there. 